and welcome back to another episode of our daily devotionals. I hope you've been blessed so far by the sharing that have been given here time and time again and that you've been sharing with your friends and family. Uh, today we're going to study a character in the book of Exodus quite familiar to us and that is Moses. But before that let us believe and pray. Almighty Father King of Heaven, we thank you for your goodness and mercy that you have shown us every single day. We thank you for the opportunity once more to read from your word and study your people as they interacted with you. May you speak to our hearts this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The book is Exodus chapter 3 and chapter 4. And we are looking at the calling of Moses. This is quite a familiar story to us. But I hope today we have a new perspective, a new angle to what was happening during Moses' calling. The book of uh, Exodus chapter 3 begins with Moses being in the field, taking care of the flock of sheep belonging to his father-in-law, Jethro. And a little later, the angel of the Lord appears to Moses in the form of a burning bush. And we get to understand as the story unfolds that that is indeed is in fact God himself speaking to Moses. And so the Lord tells him, Moses, this is holy ground, take off your shoes. And so he does. And the story continues and the angel has a message for Moses and he tells him, you are going to bring out the children of Israel from bondage. And Moses asks God several questions. Why me? I, and Moses has several excuses as to why it shouldn't be him. But there are three things I want to focus on today as we go through the entire chapter. Um, and I hope that at the end of this, we'll get to answer the question that is the topic of today. Why did God choose Moses? But let's go ahead with the story. So Moses has been called by God. And then in verses 14, we come across a question that Moses asked God. It says in verses 13 of chapter 3, And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I am come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? And what shall I say unto them? Now this is quite interesting. If you think a little into the story of Moses. Moses was raised in Egypt, but he, his mother is the one who raised him while in the palace. And so he has been raised knowing the God of the Israelites. He is very familiar with God. But why is he asking God the question, who shall I say that you are? Does he not know God? Why is he asking the question? And it's quite interesting when you think about it because how God answers Moses is also a hint to the question. Verses 14 says, And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent, has sent me unto you. Now why do you think that God says, tell them that I am? Why didn't God say, tell them I am Yahweh, I am Elohim, I am El Shaddai, and all these terms that are quite familiar with in reference to God. You see, God was about to do a miracle. God was about to do something radical. He was about to save the children of Israel. And in saving them, the children of Israel, through his, through the wonderful works that God would have done, would have recognized him and would have acknowledged that this is indeed our God. But what about the Egyptians? They do not know Yahweh. They do not know Elohim. But in in a, in should God have done a miracle like say sending forth fire and you know the ten plagues that were brought forth against the children of Israel to the Egyptians they only know a God of miracles and of marvelous works but to the children of Israel they know a loving God you see in how God would respond or how he would choose to to save the children of Israel it would be in such a manner that both the Egyptians and the Israelites would acknowledge God. And therefore God says, he does not use a Hebrew term. He does not use 
a, a Jewish uh, an, a term that only the Israelites are familiar with but all, a term that is that both the Egyptians and the Israelites could relate to and that's point number one uh, that God says I am and so the story unfolds and so Moses has been called by God but as you are all aware well aware that Moses actually has reasons why he shouldn't go have you ever thought of what it meant for Moses himself to be called by God back to Egypt. Remember, why is Moses in the field taking care of sheep? It's because he fled from Egypt, because he had committed murder. And God is asking Moses to go back to Egypt. He's sending him back to his roots. He's sending him back because Moses has some unsettled business he hasn't dealt with you see when god calls all of us he also wants us to deal with the, fa- the the issues of life that we have that we have been postponing that we have failed to acknowledge he is sending moses back to where he left so that he can deal with these issues before he's sent forth it's interesting how god can be sometimes you you want to work for god but he tells you you know you have some childhood traumas you need to deal with you want to work for God, but he tells you you have an anger issue. God, you see, God, when he wants to work through you, he does not just to work, want to use you to save other people. He has the intention of also saving you. And therefore, he tells Moses to go back to Egypt. And therefore, Moses has to go and confront Pharaoh and deal with the issue that he had left and resolved. And... The story goes on, and now we are in chapter 4. Let's go ahead to Exodus chapter 4, verses 20, verses 10. Here we find Moses asking God, or rather telling God, You know what, God, these are my weaknesses. I'm not eloquent, I stammer, I'm slow to speech, and slow of tongue. You see, Moses is essentially trying to say, God, these are my weaknesses, and therefore I cannot go. And this work that you have given me, I am not able because of my weaknesses. But we know how the story goes. For verse in verses 11, the, the Lord says to Moses, Who hath made man's mouth? Or who maketh the dumb or the deaf or the seeing or the blind? Essentially, God is saying, I am the one who made you. I was just pondering about the story of Moses. Because the big question I was asking myself is, Why did God choose Moses, this man who cannot speak, who is not eloquent, who stammers, was he just using him to save the children of Israel? And I came to realize that God was actually also planning to save Moses. Because you see, in his calling, God deals with Moses' own issues and he tells him, and God, God helps Moses confront his issues. The issues that he has cramped up in his life, has stored somewhere in a corner, has, you know, shoved it and there's no one to deal with it. God says, before you go and save my children, I also want to save you. God chose Moses because God wanted to save Moses. What duty or what ministry or what kind of work has God uh, given you to do today? Someone once told me, that ministry is God's way of saving the minister. Isn't that interesting? You may think that God is just using you to save others, but actually in the work that you do, God is saving you. Think about these things and ponder upon it as you begin this week, that God is also in the, is in the business of saving you, the minister. May God bless you and have a wonderful day.